another video today. We're going to be going over um, one of my modern trains. Now this is a Rotary Industries Shunter 391. It was originally designed to run on oil instead of coal, but this is the coal version. You can see got the coal in the back there. Um, so let's go over the bottom. The bottom is rather basic. You've got your four wheels. Um, you've got your sort of couplings on the bottom. Um, yeah, there's a screw to hold it all into place. But to the next bit. Here, you've got a double action um, wheel rod. So when it moves as it turns, this bit goes in and out, and this one here. Hang on. Oh, that's even the worst example. But um, the one on the bottom would go in and out, and the other two would just go round. So yeah, then to the front, you've got your two nice classic buffers. You've got your nice... um. There we go. You've got your nice light... Um, the door to the boiler oh, I can't remember what it's called now uh, you've got your metal railings along the side um, this bit is copper it's actually metal and so is the whistle that's copper as well so it's all actually quite sharp it hurts but on the top, yeah, you just I went over pretty much everything, but you've got your roof and you've got your windows. Driver's eye view. It's actually quite limited visibility, but I guess if you were that small and... There you go, now you can see my eye. If you were actually that small and had your face pressed up right up to it, you'd probably be okay. But yeah, side. There's actually quite a lot of floor space in there. Yeah, quite detailed interior. Um, yeah, it runs okay. It picks up a lot of voltage, so um, you can run it with that track adapter, which I done a which I did a review on. It can go normal uh, compared to the Southern Star, which can't because it can't pick up much voltage. This one can, but it doesn't go as fast. So, you know, sort of um, pros and cons there. Um, sort of balances it out. It's slow, but it picks up more voltage, so it can go further out with longer tracks. So yeah, I got this from my local model shop for twenty four pounds, twenty pounds, fifteen. I can't remember. I think it was fifteen or twenty four, twenty. Let's say twenty because it's the closest to both. Um, but yeah, it hasn't. I haven't had any problems with it. It's got a nice sloped front. Overall, I think it's a pretty nice um, engine. It's got some chrome font here, so let me change the lights on my lighting device. It lights up. Like that, it's like a disco in here. Now oh, back to normal. So yeah, I quite like this. It's probably one of my favourites. One of my second favourite, actually. So... I'm going to say like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time with a gecko vlog. Bye!